This is my Airbnb in New Smyrna Beach, 2.2 miles from the beach. I'm in the historic district of New Smyrna Beach. This is the kitchen. It's huge. It doesn't have a stove, but it has everything else. Microwave, full-size fridge. It's got a center island big enough to uh, seat 10 people. Some pretty nice furnishings in here. And it's a one bedroom. That's the only reason you wouldn't have 10 people in here because you can't uh, accommodate all those people for uh, overnight. But one bedroom, one bath, lots of space, dead quiet in here, really nice. There's my bike. So mid-May, Monday night, I rode here from Winter Springs today, 62 miles on that bicycle. And my luggage is in the bedroom, but I had the um, saddlebags full of clothing and things on that bike and a backpack in addition to what you see there. And uh, it took me eight hours. I took my time, took a big long break at lunch and uh, some short breaks. Didn't go too fast because I'm hauling with that bike and all the gear, it was 50 pounds that I'm hauling down the trail on kind of a hot day to got up into the uh, probably almost the upper 80s today could have been worse but i was able to tolerate that it was kind of an overcast and windy day so that kept me a little bit cooler which i was thankful for i do not like extreme heat but decided to risk it and do this trip anyway anyway uh this uh, airbnb is a great deal I kid you not, it's 10 times the size of a hotel room like you would get at Holiday Inn Express and costs a little bit less per night. And it's in the right location. If I had gone to the beach uh, for an Airbnb or hotel, it would have cost me twice as much. I'm only 2.2 miles from the beach. I jump, jump on a couple of... Uh, local streets and a causeway and I'm at the beach in less than 15 minutes on this bike. So uh, it's a bike trip. So I'm like, why wouldn't I just ride the bike over there? So the plan for tomorrow morning is jump on this bike about 8.30, be at the beach before nine. Low tide is a few minutes after nine. And I should be able to ride up and down the beach on this bike where the uh, wet sand is. At least we're going to test it and find out. This is my new bike I bought about three weeks ago. I've been riding a lot for the past uh, 45 days on my other bike and then this bike. So uh, culminated by this ride today, 62 miles. That's the longest bike ride I've taken since I was about 19 years old, where I did some longer rides back then. But uh, I did some 50 mile days back in the uh, Florida Keys ride I did with my brother in 2018. And then this was a 62 mile or so. I'm gonna stay here two nights, bike around locally tomorrow, and then uh, the day after, bike the 62 miles back home to Winter Springs. So this is just to get that adventure started. And uh, eventually get this video posted on YouTube with uh, some other videos of the trip. I didn't do any videos on the way up uh, here because uh, I was running out of juice on my phone. So I wanted to do them on the 62 miles, but I was out there about eight hours and that's just more than this phone could handle. So I took some pictures, but uh, didn't do any videos. Okay, more to come tomorrow.